Alrighty. So, last week I went down and bought this Harbor Freight trailer and put it together and then I bolted it together so it doesn't fold up because I don't have any interest in the folding part. And then last night I built this rack and I just used some cheap Harbor Freight to bolt on. I welded them on. Strap, clamps, brackets, whatever the hell you want to call them. And uh, I used the standard uh, spots for the side rails. And because uh, I still want to use this for a utility trailer for other things. But the idea is, let me back up so you can see the whole rack here. Um, it's a little high because I wanted to slide some stuff underneath it. And then I can actually, I was going to modify it. We're going to get two more Mokais. So this will hold four of them. And uh, uh, oh, it's cold out here. Dun, dun. Yeah, it's got a bottom rail that runs down the rudder here, or not the rudder, but the keel. And I'm going to put a piece of pad on the keel, too. It's like Grand Central out here today. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much it. i just take a few more shots if anybody's interested in any ideas on making. It was actually pretty simple. It took about... No, I don't know. It probably took about three hours to make. And, uh... And that's pretty much it. And now I'm just waiting for all my parts and stuff that I've ordered to show up so I can start to modify this mokai here. And the other mokai is sitting behind the house. Oh, that was the whole deal, is now I take the bolts out of there and I can take and set this in the garage or where I'm going to store it on my behind the house and put the mokais on it and then I can take the trailer off and then they're high enough to work on on the ground so I don't uh, have to bend over and climb into them. Alrighty, good enough. <laughs>